Welcome to Die Headlines. I'm Anthony Carlyle. Thank you for joining us. First up in Tsuji News, in the village of Luochen, Sichuan, 95% of the houses were destroyed in the recent quake. Volunteers are planning a long-term aid relief program in the village to help victims rebuild their lives. Despite the bumpy roads, the Tsuji disaster relief team thrust the quake-hit area out of Luosui Township of Sifang Municipality. The earthquake devastated the whole town as debris and rubble seemed to be the only things left on the streets. Tents are the temporary shelters for the many residents that lost their houses to the quake. I am very moved. You guys arrived when the victims needed you the most. I am so overwhelmed, so touched. The worst area in the township is Luotan Village, where 82 people were killed in the earthquake. Among all, the local primary school was the most damaged. The school collapsed and killed close to 100 students, while another 100 are still on the street. The classes haven't been resumed, so the kids have nowhere to go. We hope to build a simple classroom as soon as possible. Luotan Village has become one of the Tsuji relief points where long-term assistance will be provided. Starting May 21st, volunteers will deliver their comfort and care to the victims. It is hoped that the Tsuji's love will stand by the victims to aid their emergence from grief. Luosui Elementary was the worst hit building in Luotan Village. Close to 100 students died when their classrooms collapsed. Children who had no time to escape were buried in the rubble. If you went for the broken blackboard and dust-covered pencil case, these ruins would hardly look like a school. When the earthquake struck, students of Law Suede Elementary were in a classroom getting ready for their next lesson, leaving them no time to escape. Most students in the area died. All crashed under here. They're all dead. Living next to the school is Mr. Chen, who lost his son to the earthquake. He spent two nights without sleep digging in the rubble with bare hands, only to discover his child's lifeless body. I used both of my hands to dig. I dug really deep. My tears have dried up. Chen takes us to his broken home for a glimpse of his precious son's photo. Knowing he will never be able to hear his son's laughter again, Chen can only hope the little one can rest in peace. Volunteers in Sichuan discovered many quake survivors had lost their household possessions, so they distributed reusable bowls and chopsticks. As well as restoring human dignity, the gesture helped spread ecological awareness. The sound of brushes scrubbing away at Tsuji conservation bowls shipped here from Taiwan. In only a moment, the vegetarian meal is ready and people are invited in. Among this devastation, few enjoy proper utensils, calling to use pots and buckets in place of bowls. So for this meal, along with the food, volunteers hurriedly distribute the eco-friendly bowls and chopsticks they have prepared. Thank you. You are all such good people. In all heaven and earth, I never realized there were such good people. You can use these at every meal. Make sure you cover it up so the flies can't get in. I sense now that, at the beginning, I misunderstood. I have been truly moved. It is sublime. I truly feel that, though separated by a thousand miles, this disaster has closely connected our peoples. A chance so many miles distant. The earthquake provided Tsuji with an opportunity to minister this distant land, one bowl and chopsticks. A measure of respect, a measure of love. <laughs>